G'day guys, Ron here from Osborne Digital Marketing. Today, I'm going to show you how to get a competitor's backlink, and you're going to be able to close the competitor's backlink gap with this strategy that I show you today. Let's jump into it. Now, you are going to need to perform a, a backlink gap analysis. So what I've done is I've grabbed, I've entered in the keyword, Plumber Boca Raton, guys, I'm not affiliated working with or anything. This is just a random show of how to get a competitor backlink, competitor link building gap analysis. So I've grabbed a guy that's way, like they're ranking uh, way down here. These guys here. Uh, no, it was even further down. These guys here actually are the ones I grabbed. All right. So long way down compared to the competitors that are all situated up the top, getting all those juicy, juicy leads. So if you don't know, I'm not going to do a backlink gap analysis in this video. I'm going to have a video showing now because it's you know longer video. I'm going to get straight to the point on how to get competitor backlinks in this one. So video is going to be popping up above. You can go and do a backlink gap analysis. Or if you want me to perform a backlink gap analysis, click the link down below and uh, jump over to the Osborne Digital Marketing Store and we can do it for you. Now, back on topic. So the backlink gap analysis has shown us you can see here that the matches look at this look at this guys this is us here we don't have this link all of our competitors do though look at all of these links that our competitors have that we don't have no wonder why we're not ranking for that keyword but they are these are the things that we want to be looking at when we're documenting the missing competitor backlinks all right so we've got to have a look at this we've got to ascertain and figure out what it is that we don't have okay so now what do you do? Well, then I would export all of this and throw it into a spreadsheet so you can go away and document the build because you want to close down your backlink gap. All right, you want to close it down. If you really want to beat your competitors, this is one of the secret tips that I suggest to everyone. It's why I stress on it all the time. Google literally says in one of its patents, you need to be, if you want to rank, you need to be having the same links. That, that your competitors have. They don't say it in those words, but it's surmised, it's uh, summarized with my words, just to make it simple. So you need to close this gap. And there's no doubt about it. So how do you actually do that? Well, first things first, all right? So super pages, as an example, you need to build a super pages page. That's pretty straightforward. So as you can see here, these guys have a ton of links from them. Now it's one referring domain. So do you need to go out there and build 54 links, 100, you know, no, one referring domain is enough. Get the referring domain at least because that's really what Google is looking at. So as an example, like this best pros in town, this is not, no one's really familiar with this. So this is where you would need to review all of the backlinks. Okay. So make sure you document all of them and you record them all. Now, this is what you do. So Let's just say, okay, well, I've got to go out there and get this backlink. We all know how to get a super pages backlink. If you don't, it's very, very easy. So let me just show this best pros in town. What would you actually do? Okay, so these guys here, you need to get the link. What do you do? Come over to the website. This closing and getting the same competitor backlink, the same backlinks as your competitor requires a bit of work. You have to come over here and see what it is. Immediately, we can ascertain that it's a directory. And over here, there's a big fat button that says add business. You would need to add your business on this site. Now, a big tip when you're building competitor backlinks is make sure that you send this. And I, I tell everyone all the time, burn a page. Okay. This website doesn't look too bad. So you could send this into a service page or wherever it may be. But what I would strongly suggest is let's just say this website doesn't look too good doesn't look too trustworthy. Where do you send those uh, spammy links? Because at the end of the day, guys, if I see that all my competitors have this link and I don't, and it's not a good looking link, I still go get it. I, especially if it's all of my competitors in the backlink gap analysis, they have it. I'm sorry, but I've got to go build that link. Don't build it to a page that, you know, is your money page. Create a blog post talking about something quite generic something that's not important to you, something that you can throw away. Build those, you know, not so good links into that page. I call them a burner page, okay? So just create even a piece of AI content and send the links into that. Now you've closed that link graph. You've got that link, but it's going to a page. If something goes wrong, all of a sudden websites tanking, things start going bad, delete the page, get rid of it. The link's gone then, don't worry about it. So that's how I do it. 
That is a big tip and something that I must stress when you're trying to get competitor backlinks and you're trying to close your competitor's backlink gap analysis. Now, let's just say there's a website. You, you can't get the link. Let's just have a look at, uh, let's try and find a better place. Maybe these guys. I'm just trying to find a website as an example, guys. So let's just say these guys, you've reached out to them. <laughs> You're definitely getting your link on this site, guys. But let's just say you've reached out to them and they're like, nah, it's not happening, brother. We're not happy to link to you. So what do you do? What do you do? If you can't get those backlinks, how do you go against your competitors? How do you get in that link graph? This is what I do. <clears throat> so first of all, I would grab this website here and I would come over and check the DR. So you want to check the DR website authority, throw it into here and just check your DR because most link vendors, including myself now, about to show you, will sell on DR. So as an example, you're going to need something that's at least a 42 DR. Now, is this the most important metric? No, it's not. You want to have a look at the website. You want to ascertain what exactly the type of website that is. Okay, so it's a bit of a directory. We know that. But I'm just saying you've reached out to them. They've said no. They've rejected your offer even to maybe pay them. And they've said no. So what do you do? Well, this is where you come across to Osborne Digital Marketing. All right. We've now launched our store. So what would you do in this scenario? You're trying to build that backlink. You, you need a DR42 backlink. How do you do it? Simply come down to the backlink services on the Osborne Digital Marketing Store. Click on that. Now, if it's a guest post, you want to ascertain what type of link that your competitors have. So let's go down. It was uh, contractors, oh, that one. So you can come over here and you can have a look at the types of links that your competitors have. So have a look at the page, have a look at where they're getting their links from. Figure out if it's a niche edit. So link insert, niche edit now, I call them link inserts, but whatever floats your boat. Have a look at that and have a look to see if it's a guest post. If it's a guest post, you need a guest post. So come back over to the Osborne Digital Marketing Store once you figure that out. Let's just say in this scenario, it was a guest post. So click on the guest post. And it's going to show you several options. You're going to have the option of a DR15 to 30, DR31 to 50. Well, this is the range that we need. <clears throat> we need in here. So you would want to click on that. Now, all you would want to do is go ahead and order the link. So if you can't get those links, perhaps you can find another DR42, something, and make sure that it's not spammy. Make sure that it's in the same industry. Make sure that it's very similar to your link. But if you can't find anything and you want me to help you, you want my company to actually help you build that link so you can get a competitor backlink, reach out. We've got some great links. Here's some samples if you want to check them out of the type of links that we have to offer. All right. It's great affordable price and great thing for you guys. If you guys watch, are watching this video and you enter in the coupon down below that I've placed down below for my store, which would also be a link across to, There'll be a discount waiting for you. It's obviously going to be limited, but grab that coupon, make sure that you sign it up and I'll give you 15% off these links. So you can start building competitor backlinks at a competitive price, unlike those big stores selling same type of links for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. What's the point? It's absolutely ludicrous. But now you should know how you can close a competitor backlink gap. You can close that gap and this is how you can get competitor links. All right, guys, make sure you like and subscribe, visit the Osborne Digital Marketing Store, and I'll see you around. Cheers.